Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on Solving for X. As we get deeper and deeper into algebra, or higher and, and more complicated, the skills you learn on how to solve an equation, an equation is where numbers and letters are mixed together, learn how to solve it is a vital. Okay, the big thing you really need to focus on is this equal sign. Uh, my end goal here is to get into x by itself equal a uh, number. So all the steps I'm going to be performing in the next few uh, minutes is going to move all the variables to one side and move all the x uh, non-variables, the numbers, onto the other one. And then my end goal is, like I said before, leave x all by itself. Okay, so there's... Um, you can memorize the steps or you can think it through. There's a 7x and 2x. Let's see if I want x onto one side. I'm going to subtract this on both sides. The reason I want to do it on both sides is think of the equal sign as a pivot point. If you subtract something here without doing anything over there, the scale is going to tip over. Okay, so the reason I want to subtract 2x is 2x minus 2x cancels out. Okay, I'm going to keep my equal sign here. Minus 11 didn't get touched, so minus 11 is here. 7x minus 2x. Think of 7x as a 7 apples or 7 oranges, or maybe 7 strawberries, 7 mangoes. Take away 2 mangoes, then you have 5 mangoes left. Okay. Plus 9 does not change. So that's the first step. Our first step all I did is I basically took this 2x subtract it on both sides, or later on a more advanced version, I'll show you how to think of it quickly. But for now, let's take a look the long and cumbersome way. It's very important you learn the basics. Once again, here's my pivot point. Okay, I gotta subtract nine on both sides. The reason I want to subtract on this side is I want to make the numbers disappear on the left-hand side. So my 5x comes down untouched. There's my equal sign. This one goes away. Minus 11 minus 9. Think about it. You owe minus, that's what it is. Owe $11. And then you owe another $9. Kind of like when you go gambling. Keep on owing them. Now you're going to owe $20. How we write it in math, we see it's minus 20. Okay. And now x is almost by itself. 5 times x is equal to minus 20. So what I'm going to do is divide it by 5 again on both sides because my equal sign. And then here, 5 divided by 5 become x by itself. x is equal to minus 20 divided by 5. Answer is x equal to minus 4. Okay. Now, a quicker way is this. As you're getting more experienced with this, what you can think is this. Look, there's an equal sign. Think of the equal sign as a mountain. You're going to have to grab this 2x and carry it over the mountain. And once you carry the over mountain, it changes sign. I'll write the word change sign. Okay, so this is plus 2x over here. It's going to be minus 2x. 7x minus 2x becomes 5x. The equal sign doesn't change. And do the same thing with this one. This is plus 9. I'm going to carry it over the mountain. Like it's going to become minus 9. Minus 11 minus 9 is minus 20. Okay, divided by 5 on both sides, I have x equal to minus 4. Okay. Either way, I mean, the second is a little more advanced, but it doesn't uh, have to scare anybody. You move this thing over, change sign, so that you do the same thing for plus 9. You move over, change the sign. x equal to minus 4. Now, last but not least, got to check your work. x equal to minus 4. Does it really fit in? Let's try it. That's what solving equation is all about. Okay, so if I put a minus 4 in here on this side, I have minus 28 plus 9 because x is equal to minus 4. Is it true that it's equal to 2 times minus 4 minus 11? Well, I don't know. It's minus 11. I'm making a mess over here. So minus 28 plus 9. So I owe 28, and then somehow I earned 8 nine dollars back. So on this side, I would have minus 19. I still owe 19. Is it really equal to minus 8 minus 11? Well, 
you owe 8, you owe another 11, this is minus 19 on this side, minus 19. The answer is yes. It works. It works out. All right, time to take a math break. Math doesn't have to be hard. Learn a few basics. That's where you're going to be. All right. Now, let's say a quick review. When you're starting to learn how to solve for x, think of the equal signs. Keep everything balanced. It's all about life also, I guess. Keep it balanced. All right, that's how we handle solving this type of problems. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun and easy. Well, it's trying to. Please comment or send me your reply or thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.